Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Libra. This is going to be for the first half of your um, April from the 1st to 15th. Um, you can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So uh, we're going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of April. And then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective, um, shoot, who am I doing? Libra. So I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. All right. So Libra, Tell me about Libra here. Over energies for Libra. What is surrounding Libra? What does Libra need to know? What can Libra expect for the first half of their April from the 1st to the 15th for Libra? Libra, we have the chariot here, Cancer energy and the three of swords. Oh, you know, one of the things I'm getting is that, you know, some of you guys might be having some sort of emergency surgery here regarding your heart here. Yeah, regarding something in your chest. And this is an area that has been worked on before. So it could be some sort of pre is it is it existing condition here uh, where, you know, this is something ha that has been a constant problem here. It could be something with the valve that needs to be flick fixed here or something like that. Uh, it could be like, you know, maybe, uh, you know, clogged arteries needs to be cleared out. Uh, but this is a, a, a problem that has occurred over and over again. Um, you know, Libra, this doesn't have to be you. It, it might be someone in or around you that's experiencing this, okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, the Chariot, Cancer energy here. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Six of Swords. One of the things I'm getting here is that you guys are pretty zenned out here. You know, with the Hermit here, you guys are introspecting, self-reflecting here, you know, kind of working on you, kind of like trying to move towards calmer waters here if your life is really chaotic right now. Uh, and if that's the case with the health situation, if that's you, you know, I feel like you're trying to, you know, alleviate the stress because I feel like the stress makes this worse, you know? So we have the Five of Cups here and the Ace of Cups. You know, I feel like there's a there's a need to you know, you know I I hate I mean, I typically don't do the health readings, but if I if it comes up, I kind of touch on it a little bit. Someone here needs to switch out their medication here. Yeah, the medication is not working. Okay, uh, I don't know if the if it's if it's like the dosage amount. It's but it, someone's medication is not working. So I feel like regarding the situation that you are in or someone that's in that has a situation regarding their heart, you know, I do feel like a medication needs to be switched out here or that there needs to be a different treatment protocol here, okay? Uh, the Chariot, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, the Three of Swords here, and the Knight of Cups. Someone here has been seeing the doctor a lot. Yeah, someone here has been seeing the doctor a lot. Um, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, with the Hierophant, you know, I do feel like you are protected by a higher power here, okay? Um, there's something going on with the... I, I also feel like someone here doesn't drink enough water either. Yeah, someone here doesn't drink enough water and I feel like someone's pee, I hate to be a bit TMI, it doesn't look good. It's like really, really, really dark, okay? Someone here has to drink more water here. OK, uh, because I, f I feel like someone's system is kind of like, I wouldn't say tainted, but it just needs to be flushed out. Yeah, it's just not being flushed out. I feel like someone here is getting like not just, you know, I feel like it's not the heart thing, but maybe someone else or maybe this is you. Like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. But someone here is getting a lot of kidney stones here. OK, um, it has something with, to do with the water or that the system, the, the renal function or the renal area is not being flushed out here. Someone like, yeah, someone here is not hydrating. 
uh, the Hermit, the Knight of Pentacles. I don't know. I feel like the, this health situation here is in regards to maybe a parent here that's really just overly stubborn about their health. You know, it's like, this is all going on, but they're like, oh, it's not going on. You know, the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Six of Swords here, and the Hangman here, Piscean Energy. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, this is a slow process for you, Libra, but I feel like you're doing a lot of work here. It seems like you're gaining a lot of perspective and wisdom here regarding, you know, your life here. Uh, uh, maybe this health situation with somebody has something to do with it. Uh, we have the Empress here. Libra, Taurus here, Ace of Cups, and the Emperor. New love is entering into your life here. And I feel like you're not going to be disappointed here. Yeah, you're not going to be disappointed here, Libra. This is a divine counterpart. This is a, a mature relationship. This is like a, a, a relationship that's marriage material here. Yeah, whoever you know, whoever is coming into your life, this is a, a, an evolved individual. Okay, so uh, tell me more. What else do we have for for Libra? What else do we have for for Libra? Outcome and advice for the first half of their April from the first to fifteenth. Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Eight of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups here and the Three of Cups. Yeah. Something is coming into your life and you're not going to be disappointed. There's going to be marriage. There's going to be happiness. There's going to be celebration here. Uh, going back to the health situation, I do feel like this is someone else. Whoever this is, this person's just in denial that their health is not doing well. And I feel like this person's refusing to take care of themselves. Refusing to listen to the doctors here too. Whoever this is, this person's really stubborn. Eight of Cups here and the Seven of Cups. Seems like you can't emotionally deal with this individual anymore. Like I said, it could be a parent, you know, maybe a grandparent, you know, maybe a sibling or something like that. Uh, but some, this is an individual that has ha had a lot of health issues here, a lot. Okay, so um, two of swords, two of swords, two of swords in the star card, Aquarius energy here, the seven of swords here, and the page of pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Whoever this is, this is an individual that doesn't, that doesn't trust modern medicine. Yeah, this person does not trust modern medicine, whoever this is. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, whoever this is, I feel like this person's very, very, very holistic and does, also doesn't really trust science. Whoever this is, okay? I, I don't think this is you. I think this might be someone else here, Libra. Eight of Cups here. We have the Four of Swords. Uh, seven of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Three of Cups here and the Page of Cups. There is someone coming into your life that's not going to disappoint you here. Uh, but with the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords, yeah, there is someone here that you're dealing with that is regarding their health here. It's kind of like, okay, you're making your bed, so you sleep in it. So it's kind of like you're just letting this person be. You know, you just can't change them. Yeah. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune here and the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah. There is someone coming in for you that is going to change your life where you won't be disappointed here. This is new love. All right. So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.